Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday the twenty Saturday the twentieth of July, twenty twenty four. Um, we left Plymouth yesterday. Um, yesterday, I retired from my work at a primary school. Been there for thirty four years. Um, and I'm going to miss everybody, if you're ever watching this. I'm going to absolutely miss everybody. I'm starting to fill up now. Um, so I love you all. Um, so last night, we got here about... Nine o'clock. About nine o'clock. It was like the, the light was going a bit. Um, after looking for... This is about our fifth park up we were looking yeah. at. We didn't fancy the rest. We knew we've been here before. We went, came here this time last year on the way home, actually. Um, so uh, this is where we are, and we are right beside the Trent and Mersey Canal. Let me just turn you around. So there's space for about three vans, I suppose, but not as not on. We've got the best bit. It's only us here. It's very quiet. Have two canal boats go past. Right, this is the Trent and Mersey Canal. It's very quiet and peaceful. Look at that. So, we are on our way to Scotland for two weeks and two days. Two weeks and two days. Um, and this is where we stopped last night on the way. So, We'll see you when we get to wherever we're going today. Bye. What one is it? Yes, it is. Hello. Um, we have driven. Mm. How many miles was it? About from eighty. About eighty odd miles from where we were. Um, to Carnforth in Lancaster. Sure. Lancaster. Sure. Lancaster. So Carnforth Station is where we're going, and that is where they filmed a brief encounter, which starred Celia Johnson and Trevor Howard, that's it. Um, I hope I don't get anything in my eye. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming that used to be a cinema, I think. Oh, it looks very cinema-y, very Art Deco, window, well, X windows. Right, just turn you around. Uh, what? Always do. What? Sorry, I'll have to be back. There's the station. Right, there is the station. Leon's just had to go back to the van because um, he's left his phone on charge. Um, there is a car park. It's okay for cars, um, but we couldn't really fit the van in. So we parked if you can see up there Carnforth Heritage Centre uh, David oh yeah it's David Lean exhibition so David Lean was the ooh, something to do with the film did he write it I don't know directed oh directed it that's right um, there is little cafe in there which in the film they didn't actually film in the station they recreated a, the the um, cafe at the studios wherever that was and we're in refreshment room over there so the what do you call it underpass no, is it the only station? No, no. No. It's just so this space, this station, this station. Oh. Thanks. Mainline trains don't stop here anymore. Mainline trains don't stop here anymore. Anyway, so this station, the bit that's going to the under, do you call it underpass? Yeah. Um, is a slope. And not steps. And not steps. 
and David Lean chose the station, and it happened to be this one for one of the reasons was because there was no steps, and because in the film, when oh, they're running up to get to the train, um, he wanted them running up a slope and not steps or something like that. Is that all right? Yeah, and it's easy for the lightning crew in that because they've got little trolleys in that film on the slopes and the steps. And it needed to be up in the north because it was at the end of the war and they were using big lights. What year was it actually made? I think it was 45, 44 or 45. Okay, that was just one sir. Go this way. Should I go running up and pretend that I'm Celia Johnson? <laughs> okay. There's people around. Okay. So, that's a shame. The massive, great big clock, which was in the film, isn't there. It, they lost it, didn't they? It somehow ended, yeah. up down, ended up down in London, and then somebody found it and knew it was from here and rang up the people here and said, oh, I think we've got some of yours. When we came here about 15 years ago, it was there, wasn't it? I can't remember. So anyway, it's a massive great big clock. And where do you wind it up to? From, oh, there's that pope. Is that, no, where'd they wind it up then? Or is that all gone as well? It must have been the, the, the link, or the rod that came out of there. Ah, so there's a hole in there. And there's a great big rod. I think it goes across here, and that's how they wind the clock up, which isn't there anymore. 